Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new here my name is Victor and today I'm back with another Adobe After Effects tutorial but today I want to do something different. Everyone seems to color the iris of their subjects characters when they want to do something creative with the eyes. So I want to teach you how to color the whites of the eyes which to any VFX artist immediately sounds like a ton more work because you'd have to make a mask here, a mask here for every eye and then as it's moving Sounds like a nightmare, but I found a creative solution that basically we're going to be giving our subjects tanning goggles and then let After Effects do the rest of the work. All right, open up your footage in After Effects and then start motion tracking one of the eyes. Once that tracker's done, go ahead and create a new null object and then name it just to try and stay a little organized and then edit the target of the tracker for that null and then apply that tracking data to that null. And then you're gonna go ahead and repeat this process for the other eye. Now go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then search for the effect called tint and apply that to the adjustment layer and then change the matte black to white. So now the entire thing should be white and then we're going to lower the opacity. So hit T on the keyboard and then you'll just bring down that opacity a little bit so that we can see what we're going to be doing because basically we're gonna be masking around one of the eyeballs. Now don't worry, the masking we're gonna be doing is relatively easy because it's so much easier to mask around ovals and circles, some basic shapes rather than this weird curve shape that you might need four different masks just for one eye depending on how big or wide your subject eyes are. So go ahead and begin creating that first mask around your subject's eye and you're going to want to make sure that you're doing your best to not include any part of the eyelid, just the eyeball. Once you've finished that mask around one of the eyeballs, turn on the mask path keyframes and then I boosted my mask feather up to two. Now parent that adjustment layer that you just masked to the appropriate eye knoll. Now scrub through the duration of the effect, making any changes necessary to your mask to make sure that you're only covering the eyeball. Now you can raise the opacity back up to 100 and then we're going to duplicate that adjustment layer by holding command and pressing D on the keyboard with that adjustment layer selected. And now on that duplicate, we're going to change the parent layer to the other eye null and then delete the mask that's made on there. And now we're going to repeat that process of creating a mask around that eye. Now once you're finished with that, go ahead and go to layer, new, solid, and make a black solid. And we're going to grab the ellipse tool to create a basic circle mask. And you're gonna put that mask right over the iris of your subject. And again, you can hit T on the keyboard and just bring that opacity down so you can see where you're putting it. Now parent that black solid to the appropriate eye, duplicate that black solid, change the parent to the other eye, and then reposition that black solid to be covering the other iris. Now raise the opacity back up on the whites of the eyes and the black solids and play through it just to make sure that it does in fact look good. You're gonna need a decent eye shape here for the next part to work out well. And this is what I was saying about we're basically making tanning goggles for our subject. So now we're going to pre-compose all the layers including the footage and then with that pre-comp selected, go up to layer, auto trace. Now make sure that you click the bubble that says work area and that will make sure that it's masking for the duration of your work area. The channel should be set to luminance and the threshold to 95. That way it's only going to select and mask the things that are white. And then make sure that apply to new layer is selected as well. And you can see that before we even hit okay, it's showing you what these masks are gonna look like. So you can make adjustments to these values and it will show you at least what the first frame will look like. Now hit okay and let it process. It might take a minute. Now once that's done, if we just hide our footage, you can see that we've got this white mask for the whites of our eyes, which already in itself looks cool. But go ahead and re-reveal that pre-comp and then double click back into that pre-comp and we're going to turn off the adjustment layers and the black solids that we made. And now return to the composition and open up that new layer that was just made and click on the first mask and then hit Command A to select all the masks. And from the very beginning of the effect, turn on the keyframe stopwatch for mask feather and mask expansion. And you can change it based on how it looks for your subject, but I softened up my masks a little bit. I then added a red spiral clip that I got from a stock footage website, but you can use any footage you want, or you can get creative with shapes and solids. I again lowered the opacity, scaled down, and repositioned it so it'd be centered on the eye. I duplicated that spiral clip and again moved it over for the other eye. 
And so now we need that tracking data again for the eyes, but don't worry, we're not gonna have to run the tracker again. So let's first create two nulls and then name them and then go back into that pre-comp and then go to the first tracking null that you wanna copy and then bring up the position keyframes and select them all, command A on the keyboard that'll highlight them all and then command C to copy them. Go back to your comp and open up one of your new nulls and then bring up the position keyframes by hitting P on the keyboard and from the very beginning of the effect, turn on the keyframe stopwatch and then hit command V and that will paste all of those keyframes. And now go ahead and repeat the process for the other null. I then parented the spiral clips to the appropriate nulls and then if you haven't already, make sure you raise that opacity back up. And now go to that layer that the auto trace created that has all the masks for your eye and then duplicate that layer and then you're gonna stagger it in the spiral clip so it should go mask, spiral, mask, spiral. And now you're going to alpha mat the spiral clip to the mask layer above it. And now the only spiral you should see is inside of the whites of the eyes. And now you can add that tint effect to the spiral clips and keyframe the map white color to change over time. Once you've got a look that you like on one of those spiral clips, you can select that effect, command C to copy, and then go to the other spiral clip, click into the effects, and then command V to paste it, and then you'll have an identical keyframe color changing spiral effect. And now you see you can get super creative with this and the possibilities are seemingly endless. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.